I'm guessing that we're all here for the same reason, that we believe in the preservation of community. Communities are about people. Affordable housing is about people preservation and about the restoration of community. But there are larger problems and opportunities that are affecting communities today and that will become more and more driving forces, I think. In the aftermath of Katrina, it became much easier to sense the approach of the less dramatic but far greater storms of global climate change, peak oil. These issues, I mean, along with global climate change and peak oil, to me, the distribution of wealth is the other essential issue. They're disturbingly complex. They cry out for bold solutions. And they're not going to go away. There's a choice. And the choice is, are we going to insist on the future we want, or are we going to accept the future we get? The hinge point in the development of our company came when some longtime employees came to me and said, we don't want to go out and start our own business. We want to make our career here, but we got to have a better stake. We need more than an hourly wage. And so we started to think together about what could we do to formalize what was a very familial family. How can we formalize this? My first thought was, let's make them partners. But as we thought together more about it, it occurred to us that if we're really successful, and this is a wonderful place to work, and people want to stay here, then this situation is going to come up over and over again. So why not have a system that will welcome people in, that will invite people in, that will be a part of the, um, of the culture of the company and a part of the reason people want to come to work there because you are assured that if you stay you will become an owner of the company so we then restructured as an employee owned cooperative corporation and the amazing thing was I had no clue what the impact of this would be and that ownership stake changed people's view and changed their commitment and changed their level of responsibility we were so fortunate to stumble on this mechanism so early because now we have people that are experienced owners and good decision makers. There are many more cooperative corporations than there used to be and the great thing about this is the people who are making the decisions bear the consequences of those decisions and they truly have the power to set the course of the business. We all know it but it's easy to forget in our day-to-day -day work that money as the sole measure of prosperity fails to recognize that people have lives and people have families and people have communities and many actually do value the quality of their workplace as much as the size of their paycheck and sometimes a lot more. Our company did a co-housing project, 16 houses designed and developed by the group of people that were going to live there and they hired us to facilitate the group development and to design and build. And we were very closely connected with the whole project so um, our company moved onto this property adjacent to it. My wife and I bought a piece of land adjacent to it. And through the beginning of the project, my wife and I never intended to live there. And then our 14-year-old daughter said, you're putting heart and soul into this wonderful project, and we're going to build a house down the road? This seems a little sketchy. And um, we thought more, and uh, we became, we joined the group, became members, bought a house there, and it has been fabulous to test drive this whole uh, journey.